Hello, I'm Pikeville Mayor Jimmy Carter, and today we're going to be reading a book called All Different Now, Juneteenth, the First Day of Freedom. This has been written by Angela Johnson and illustrated by E.B. Lewis. So let's get started. A June morning breeze off the port below the smell of honeysuckle past the fields across the yard and into our room to make us up, wake us up. And nobody knew as we ate a little, talked a little, and headed to the fields as the sun was rising that soon it would be all different. When we worked and worked and worked some more under the hot Texas sun, until word spread from the port to town, through the countryside and into the, and, in, and into the fields. That a Union general had read from the balcony that we were all now and forever free and things would be different, all different now. I watched as my Aunt Laura sang as she held her baby, Mr. Jake, who some say was a hundred, cried quietly. And a group of grown people bowed their heads and whispered things to each other that I could not hear. My mama held my hand softly and looked beyond as another breeze blew over and everything fell to a hush. But later, Papa, Mama, the aunts and uncles, and all of my cousins had an afternoon picnic by the water. My baby brother crawled around on our blanket as we listened to the sounds of the waves. And we moved people joined us. We ate as free people. We laughed as free people and told stories as free people. On into the night. What was before would be no more. As we walked back home, the cool of the night soothed our tired feet that padded quietly past the shadow fields of cotton. And in the morning, the smell of honeysuckle will wake me again beside my sisters and brother to a time that will be for all of us all different now. The end.